All right, what up, Mother Truckers? BP here when the boys back at you here. And today we're swinging the 2023 Worth Shannon Smith Creature. Big thanks to this one goes out to yours truly from the support of you guys. I was able to grab uh, one of these for a really good price from Headbanger Sports because you guys support the channel, watching the videos and everything else, it makes a difference. Able to pick this one up to check it out for review for you guys, so it will be for sale afterwards. I'll put a comment down below and pin it to let you guys know how much it'll be and everything else you can check it out there and i will remove it when it's gone so if you don't see the pinned comment up top then it has been sold everything from buying bats directly through me using the affiliate links down below using the discount codes all that stuff helps the cause in making sure we can get content to be able to swing for you guys so huge thanks to you guys for making this impossible back at atkins park here 300 feet all the way around with a monster uh, in left that goes all the way over to center as you can see there 85 degree day no wind for once and we're hitting a mix of Evil BP 52 Pluses, 52 300 Game Balls, Deadly Thunder Z and Pro M's, and Evil BP Rockets. This bat is available in 25 through 27 ounces. This particular model is a 26. Features an inload and it is a full ounce. Is it true to weight? Yes, but the inload is definitely hefty. Wouldn't recommend going down an ounce or anything like that, but do have it known that the inload in this thing is no joke. It's definitely... One of the more heavier inloads I've swung this year for a one ounce and especially in a 26. If you're looking to have any kind of finesse to your swing, definitely don't consider this one. This is for somebody that wants to hit the ball as hard as they can, swing as hard as they can, and worry about the results later. It is a two piece with a composite barrel and a composite handle, and it has the typical Mike and Worth feel from the handle. It is stiff, it really doesn't even let you know it's a two piece bat unless you miss really bad up or down the barrel. And this barrel is a 12 and a half inch barrel, and just based on the feedback and stuff that we got from it, it was not really all that responsive in my opinion. It was just kind of stiff, never burned the hands or gave you any bad feedback, but never let you know you got one good unless you just absolutely nailed it on the screws. And then you did hear a sound change as well, but if not on the screws, then it definitely lacks some to be desired from a feel and feedback standpoint. They got better as it broke in and it became a little bit more responsive. So it was definitely worth noting. Just do note that if you do grab one of these, it's just going to be a little lackluster and underwhelming for the first, I'll say, 100 or so swings until you get it broke in. Check another compression tester on this thing here real quick. A couple of things I do want to take away from this. One, I expected this to be better out of the wrapper for testing in the mid-250s. But number two is we put almost 200 swings on this bat and the compression tester barely moved. So... While I was a bit thrown off that it wasn't performing better out of the wrapper, I was definitely impressed with the fact that we put a good amount of swings on this thing with some guys that can hit the ball pretty good, and it just did not move at all. I, I was honestly very surprised. So this thing's definitely going to get a check for durability. And again, I think it goes hand-in-hand hand with the uh, feedback and feel thing that I mentioned earlier. It's just going to take a little bit to get going, so don't think that just because you see it in the 250s it's going to be a gamer out of the wrapper because it definitely was not. So with all the technical stuff out of the way, let's go ahead and get down to what we think of this thing. And it was a bit interesting to start with. I honestly kind of thought to myself, how is the Freak 9R as good as it is? And this thing is underwhelming as it is. And I still don't have the answer to that. But I will say that it was better than what I thought it was going to end up being. To start with, for the first 100 or so swings, I kind of thought to myself, wow, this is like two night and day different bats. And again, I can't pinpoint why. This would feel different than the 9R. The only difference should be the one ounce difference that we swung between this one and the 9R. The 9R being a 27 and this one being a 26. Because let's be honest, a Worth and Mike is damn near the same soup in a different bowl when they do stuff like this. But a little bit to dispel that theory would have to be the fact that this tested way lower than the Freak 9R. Right out of the wrapper. And it was not as responsive either. But once we got it broke in and kind of figured out, like this thing just wants to be swung really hard. You have to be able to get the inload around. And you can even kind of see in some of my swings here, when I get the inload around, I kind of get the ball out in front of me a little bit and really whip the inload around. It's a way better result as far as the batted ball goes. Any of the stuff that I kind of let get in on me, and I won't say push it off my hands, but definitely don't get it, like, it extended and snapped on it. You can definitely see a difference in the performance. So this thing just wants to be swung really hard. So usually when I find a bat that does that like that, I will just swing the piss out of it and just trying to cut everything. And even Makaya, I put on a little bit of a clinic with that too here, as you can see. So this one may not be for the faint of heart, but it's going to be for someone that likes to take BP and likes a great big inload and wants something for a smoking deal. These are listed on the website right now at $150. So performance per dollar here, this is a really good deal. 
you can get with me to get one of these. I can get you set up with one directly, or you can use the affiliate link in the description down below as well. A couple of different options there that you get you one of these bats. Like I said, they are good. It did start a little bit slow and make me kind of wonder what it was going to be about, but I think this is a good investment, especially for 150 bucks. So if you're looking to hit it hard and worry about it later, this is going to be the bat for you. Big thanks again for you guys for making this one possible. Big thanks to Headbanger Sports for the smoking deal on this. That's it for now, guys. Swing hard in case you hit it. BP Hero, catch you next time. Swing, man. Oh!